Welcome to our Southwest Desert Channel, where we explore the fascinating history, legends, and myths of the American Southwest. Today, we're diving into a tale that has captivated treasure hunters and history buffs for generations, the story of Geronimo's lost gold in the Superstition Mountains of Arizona. Our story begins with the Apache Native Americans and their relationship with gold. Unlike the European settlers who saw gold as a source of wealth and power, the Apache viewed it differently. To them, gold was merely a means to an end, a way to acquire the powder and lead needed to defend their lands against the invading white men. At the heart of this tale is the legendary Apache chief, Geronimo. Known for his fierce resistance against Mexican and American expansion into Apache lands, Geronimo's name has become synonymous with the struggle of Native Americans in the late 19th century. But there's another aspect to Geronimo's legacy, one that has fueled countless treasure hunts and expeditions. It's the story of a hidden gold mine, supposedly known only to Geronimo and his closest allies. Thank you for joining your Desert Frontiersman, Alan. Please leave a like, comment, and share. For further desert adventures, hit the subscribe button. Our journey takes us to the Superstition Mountains of Arizona, a rugged and unforgiving landscape that has been the setting for numerous legends and mysteries. In particular, we're interested in an area known as Geronimo Head, a formidable mountain rising over a thousand feet to form the east wall of Labarge Canyon. Geronimo Head is described as a rugged area of about six square miles, reputed to have been a favorite hiding place for Apache warriors when pursued by soldiers. But more importantly, it's believed to be the source of the gold that funded many of the Apache campaigns against the encroaching settlers. According to the legend, somewhere within the maze-like terrain of Geronimo Head lies a hidden box canyon. This canyon is described as a veritable slit in solid rock, probably fault-formed and erosion cut. It's said that Geronimo himself confirmed the existence of this canyon, and Geronimo had always scorned a forked tongue, and it was rumored that Geronimo had never lied. But the story of this hidden canyon goes back even further than Geronimo's time. Long before the Apache chief was born, the canyon had allegedly been discovered by a group of Spanish explorers. These Spanish adventurers, part of the many unrecorded expeditions that crisscrossed the 18th century wilderness in search of gold, stumbled upon something extraordinary in that hidden canyon. They found a vein of rose quartz so rich in gold that they could extract it using only hand mortars. Over the course of several months, the Spanish miners established a small operation in the canyon. They dug a low tunnel following the gold vein into the mountain, set up a comfortable camp, and even built a small rock smelter near a spring that emerged from the solid rock. The miners' ingenuity was evident in how they accessed this hidden paradise. They had to climb in and out of the valley using a rope hung from above, a detail that adds to the mystique and difficulty of locating this legendary site. But the Spanish miners weren't alone in their discovery. Apache scouts had been aware of their presence from the beginning, watching and waiting for the right moment to strike. The Apaches knew that the Spaniards' obsession with gold often led them to be careless about their safety. The Apache bided their time, waiting for the miners to exhaust their supply of gunpowder and blasting operations. When that day finally came, and the miners prepared to leave with their golden treasure, the Apache made their move. In a swift and brutal attack, the Apache surrounded the rim of the sunken valley. They rained arrows down on the panic-stricken miners and rolled huge boulders over the cliffs to complete the massacre. In a matter of moments, the Spanish mining operation was wiped out. But while the miners perished, their treasure remained. According to the legend, a glittering store of gold bullion was left stacked like cordwood inside the tunnel. It is believed most of it is still there. Although Geronimo is said to have drawn on this store of wealth to buy powder and lead for his raids on the whites who invaded Apache territory. 
This hidden cache of gold became a secret resource for the Apache, particularly for Geronimo in his campaigns against white settlers. The legend even suggests that this hidden canyon served as a perfect escape route for Geronimo when pursued by enemy forces. The story takes an intriguing turn when we fast forward to 1886, after Geronimo's capture and imprisonment at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Even in captivity, the allure of the hidden gold continued to play a role in Geronimo's life. There was a near scandal at Fort Sill involving a plot for Geronimo's escape. The driving force behind this plot? Gold from the ancient Spanish mine known only to the Apache. This incident suggests that even decades after its discovery, the legend of the hidden gold mine remained a powerful force. In his later years, Geronimo reportedly shared some tantalizing clues about the location of the hidden canyon and its golden treasure. He spoke of a certain spring at the foot of the mountain in Labarge Canyon, which he claimed was the key to finding the treasure. According to Geronimo, this spring was fed by another spring high up in the hidden canyon. He suggested that by following the water's path through the mountain, one might rediscover the mine and its hoard of gold. However, Geronimo was confident that no white man could successfully follow such a subtle trail. The legend of Geronimo's lost gold didn't die with the old chief. Over the years, there have been several reported sightings and near discoveries that have kept the myth alive. One such account comes from Charlie Morgan of Phoenix, who claimed to have stumbled upon the Hidden Valley in the 1920s during a mountain climbing trip up the Apache Trail. Morgan's description of the valley matches the legend. He reported finding scattered bones, an 18th century Spanish musket, and even the remains of a camp. Morgan estimated the location of the valley to be between four and five miles east of the prehistoric burial mounds and walled up terraces in the superstitions now known as Garden Valley. However, in his haste to find a way out of the valley, Morgan didn't thoroughly explore the area and missed the chance to discover the legendary gold vein. Despite the passage of time, the search for Geronimo's lost gold continues to captivate the imagination of modern-day treasure hunters. The rugged terrain of the Superstition Mountains, combined with the tantalizing clues left behind in legends and stories, continues to draw adventurers hoping to strike it rich. There are a few later accounts of gold discoveries in the area. Ed Lambert, a former cowman, recalled finding a chunk of white quartz with gold stringers while rounding up cattle at the head of Needle Canyon. Similarly, Wallace McDonald, a cowboy working for a local ranch, unknowingly picked up gold-rich rocks while herding cattle through the same canyon. These stories serve to keep the legend alive suggesting that there may indeed be undiscovered riches hidden in the depths of the Superstition Mountains. As we conclude our tale, it's clear that the legend of Geronimo's lost gold is more than just a tale of hidden treasure. It's a story that intertwines the history of the Apache people, the Spanish conquistadors, and the American West. It speaks to the enduring allure of gold and the lengths to which people will go in pursuit of wealth. Whether or not the Golden Horde exists as described in the legend, the story of Geronimo's lost gold has left an indelible mark on the folklore of the American Southwest. It continues to inspire exploration, fuel imagination, and remind us of the complex history that shaped this rugged and beautiful landscape. Perhaps someday, the mysteries of the Superstition Mountains will be unveiled. But until then, the legend of Geronimo's lost gold will continue to captivate and intrigue us, a testament to the enduring power of myth and the allure of hidden treasures. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and history. Until next time, keep exploring, keep wondering, and who knows, you might just stumble upon a legend of your own. Please leave a like, comment, and share. For further desert romps, hit the subscribe button. Happy trails!